Hello, everybody. So my name is Berenice Batu. I'm from the University of Freiburg, and I'm really glad to present the work of the Galaxy Training Network to build an open, collaborative online infrastructure for bioinformatic training. And yeah, the first question is why we care about bioinformatics training, why we should care about that. Because on during probably all of you know that during the last year there were an explosion of data to analyze and we have access to many more computational power. We have also access to m more specialized analysis and many, there is now thousands of possible tools to analyze our data. So we need to learn how to use this data or analyze our data. And we need also to incorporate the biologists in the analysis of this data because bioinformatics is really central to biology now to be only left to us as bioinformaticians. We need really to incorporate the biologists in the analysis. And so there is a really a need in bioinformatics training. And this need comes with an increasing demand to learn bioinformatics. So this year there were a release of the Goblet uh, survey that where they asked to many scientists how they learn about bioinformatics. And in the survey, it looks like most of the people learn bioinformatics by themselves or from their colleagues. But they would like to learn bioinformatics with online trainings or doing workshops. So it's, there is really a, a demand to learn bioinformatics. And Galaxy could be a great solution to learn bioinformatics or to train on bioinformatics. Why? Because first, you don't need any computational knowledge to use Galaxy. You have a web interface for numerous bioinformatics tools, among almost 5,000 now bioinformatics tools. It's scalable, meaning that you can use it on your computer, you can use it on a cluster, you can use it on the cloud. So, and you will not have any issue with computer configuration doing a workshops, for example. You don't have to ask all your, all your participants to have uh, the same uh, operating systems. You just need to ask them to open a web browser and they will have access to many tools. And the Galaxy community really care about trainings, how to use Galaxy, but how to analyze data within Galaxy. And so a few years ago, the Galaxy Training Network was funding. And the idea of the Galaxy Training Network is to aggregate training resources but also best practices, platform recommendation, and also a directory where you can find instructors to train of using Galaxy and data analysis. But so there is a lot of events organized with the Galaxy training networks over the, since 2015, almost one event per month, but this is only the register event. So there is probably a lot of more events organized using Galaxy as a support for trainings. And these events are, are worldwide. So it's not only in Europe, in, in US, it's also you see in Bolivia or somewhere else. So it's nice, a nice uh, network to train uh, bioinformatics. And so it's a good start, but it was not enough because here, the Galaxy Training Network aggregates many resources from different platforms for trainings. So you had a lot of redundancies in the, in, in the content, but also it was difficult to keep up to date with the new tools because, as you know, the tools evolved quite fast in bioinformatics. So last year, during the Galaxy Community Conference, the Galaxy Training Network started decided to build a new open, collaborative, and fair, bingo, model for bioinformatics training. And the requirement was, okay, it must be easy to use. It must be easy to use for you if you want to self, to train yourself on your side, but it must be also easy to use for instructor to give a full workshops with, I don't know how many uh, person, participants. So it must, uh, easy also to integrate new content. And so it must support the two types of training, self-training and workshops. And it's also important to define the technical infrastructure. Which tool do you need? Where are the data? Everything you need to be able to run, to run a tutorials or full workshops. And 
we also care about limiting the redundancy to make it easy to keep up to date, to maintain on the long term. So during the last year, we developed, we worked a lot with the Galaxy Training Network to develop such a model. So the first step was to create a, Galax a GitHub repository to collect everything. Everything is the content, the technical infrastructure, everything. And we, t we also uh, look at the topics, which topics we want to have it, and we, which are the targets. So the main target was uh, trainings on use of Galaxy for analysis of data. So the things in black, meaning assembly, chip seek, metagenomics, a lot of different topics on analysis of data. But we care also about uh, the people that use Galaxy, or developers or administrators of Galaxy. So we developed also training around these topics. And to make it easy to maintain on the long term, we ask, we wanted to have a similar structure similar content, similar content uh, format for every topic. So the, for every topic, you will find the same structure with tutorial slides. And, all, and I will come, uh, explain a bit more the technical parts. But if you look at the slide and tutorials, everything is written in Markdown. So it's a really simple markup language that makes it easy to anyone to create new content in it. So what we did is we have our tutorials written in Markdown, hosted in GitHub, and we have a templating system that take this Markdown, add some metadata uh, written in a YAML file, and with the templating system, we can generate a nice web page that uh, make our tutorials more appealing. And we have slides generated, and we have also a full web page to find your tutorials on your topics you are interested in. And because when you have a tutorial, so for example, metagenomics, you need data. You need input data, training data. And it takes a lot of time to create training data, small data set that is interesting enough to be, to be used. So what we, uh, and we need to, we don't want to store our data in GitHub. So what we ask is we ask the people to upload the data on Zenodo. So we have a DOI associated to the input data make it it's a table and give credits to be the people that spend time to define this, da this input data. And we also give credit to the contributors on training by adding this information in the metadata. So for each tutorial, you have information who contributed to this tutorial. And other things important, as I said, is the technical infrastructure. Which tool do you need to run this tutorial? So with your tutorials, you have a YAML file that describes which tools you do you need, which version of your tools you will need to be able to run these tutorials in a Galaxy instance. And you, we have also workflows going with our tutorial. And so we can use this YAML file with JSON file and with all this file to uh, annotate public Galaxy instance and say, okay, this Galaxy instance can be used to run these tutorials. And we can also, we have also scripts that helps administrator of Galaxy instance to install all the needed tools, all the data needed for training on their Galaxy instance. And another step we want, wanted to have, because you don't always have access to a Galaxy instance, a public Galaxy instance, or you want to, you don't have internet. Uh, so what we we create also with the Galaxy Docker flavors with all the tutorial, all the tools, all the data needed to be able to run a topics. For example, all the metagenomics tutorials, you will have a, a Docker flavors with Galaxy shipped on it and you can deploy it on your computer and you will have anything you need to be able to run the tutorials on metagenomics. So this model I show you was used in the last year uh, on many, during many tutorials. We are still refining it, so it's still an ongoing process, but it's quite working well, nice, uh, currently. So it's nice. And so when we developed the, the, um, these models, we keep always in mind the FAIR principle. So to make the, the um, tutorials findable, so we, uh, so we, um, we automatically, it's automatically updated uh, the metadata, sorry, 
uh, of the tutorials automatically uh, passed by the uh, uh, Elixir training portals test and they are automatically added on this portal. So you can find easily every tutorial on the training, um, Galaxy training materials on the test. For the accessibility, all the training materials are accessible online on, at this uh, URL. You don't have to register. It's really, you can use it as it is for training for yourself, but also for workshops. Uh, so we have, as, as we said, self-training boxes with Galaxy Docker flavors, and we annotate public Galaxy instance to say where you can run this tutorial. For interoperability, so all the metadata is described in YAML file, and it's integrating the EDAM ontology to make it easy to be um, uh, integrated in other systems than tests or other things. So uh, we think also about the targets, so different targets for the content and the technical support for different platforms. So you can use your tutorials on your computer, but on the cloud, on the cluster, everywhere you want, you would like to do that. Reusability, so our, all the trainings are released with a CC BY uh, license. We have a DOI for every input data sets and we care about openness. So all the development process are made on GitHub, so it's fully open. Uh, in a Git, we have a GitHub channel to discuss about everything. And we would like to be part of the open education movement also. But everything is only possible because it's a community effort. So, doing, so this, as I said, this project started last year. And since then, we have quite a lot of numerous contributions. The number of commits here, uh, the number of issue pull requests is really nice. And it's because we organize several hackathons around, around this um, topic. So the first one was in uh, October. It was an online hackathon. Uh, in May, we organized uh, with the Elixir and Goblet uh, hackathon in Cambridge. It was really, uh, really successful one. And during the last uh, community, yeah, like uh, community conference, we organized also a hackathon. So it was really three successful hackathons in the sense of the contribution, but also the number of discussion, pull requests, issues, and the discussion on the guitar channels were really interesting also. And the community is constantly growing. Here is the number of new contributors every month. So we have almost one new contributor every month, especially during the hackathon, but it's really nice. And so currently we have 48 contributors on this project. So it's thanks to all of them because it's really thanks to them because otherwise it will not be possible to have this nice project. And I would like to thank you for your attention. Just to mention, I have a poster um, tonight about that scaling bioinformatics training. And thanks. <laughs>